Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today, first of all, I got my hair cut. How do you guys like it? I don't know. I want more fluff on top, but my hair just flops. Um, but today, guys, we are going to be taking down Mega Crab. Now, as you see, I'm on stage 47. I've been doing some work here. I've been putting in the grind. And at the end of the video, I show you, I'll show you if I remember what number I am or what rank I am on the leaderboard. Um... So yeah, I've been doing attacks. Now I haven't been recording every single, I haven't recorded any stages past the live stream. I mean, and the reason for that is just boring over and over again. But I figured from now on, I'm at like stage 40. So you guys will, it, it starts getting interesting. So I'm just gonna upload some videos. So we start off with 39 and we'll go to like 40, we'll defeat 47 today. So it's 39 to 47. Um, which is super cool. So yes, this is what I do. I just do an AZ. Now, this should have been an easy attack. Okay, as you see here, this is my second attack. My first attack was not on the screen, but it was a fail. I messed up so badly. I took a lot of the shield down. I was just like, this should have been an easy attack. Um, and I don't know why I failed so badly. So this is what we do. We let our troops walk down. Because what I learned, I don't know if that was the best strategy, but what I've learned is the heavies, um, they'll stand like behind the Zooka or on top of the Zooka. So I like having them walk down first, and I feel like it helps more. So that was an easy attack. I could have, yeah, that was just super, super easy. So now we get on to stage 40, and we see here that it takes me two attacks. Now, look at this base, guys. This was insane. Just look at this base. It, it's so crazy. There's a lawnmower outside. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. So I'm trying to, to decide what I am going to do. Um, so I do an AZ. No, it's not an AZ. It's a hookah attack. A smoky hookah. And you're going to see my landing here is not the best. And there's a little, a little area of smoke there that I didn't smoke up. And I ended up dropping another one because I got scared. And in the end it helped because my other smoke weared off. I'm still pretty bad at this. One thing I learned with these hexagon, or that's, is that a hexagon? Um, bases, um, you want to go all the way to a corner. As you saw there, I stopped in the middle, and it cost me so much more um, energy because I needed two flares. Because if you start cutting up on a straight path, I mean, on, on the side here, like if I'm here and I try cutting up, like here they're gonna walk everywhere everywhere they're gonna get all screwed up so you have to just go along the edge and you have to go to every little corner so that's something I learned after the after attacking this base and I'm not gonna make that same mistake again so you can see here that the smoke is about to wear off and my just zookas go ham and look at that this is what I was telling you guys about the heavies just sit there now there are probably steps I can take to have that not happen but my zookas just get annihilated because my heavies are just being stupid they're just standing there and now we're starting to branch off a little bit the heavies are ahead of the zookas and they're doing their job for once but I lost a lot of my zookas I probably only have like 20 zookas left um, and they did not do damage. Now, I, I admit, I've been watching other YouTubers attack. It's I, I've, I've only been watching Boom Beat Schwartz because his attacks are just so good. Um, he shows this guy named Spawn. And Spawn got, and he's in his task force. But Spawn gets on the leaderboard locally like every single time. And he's like second or first. So he's a really good player. Now, I can't remember which base it was. It was like 41, 42, or 43. Spawn did not take it down in one attack, and I did. I did better than Spawn, guys. Um, it made me so happy, but yeah, he probably just messed it up. Um, but yes, so Spawn goes around a base like this with his second attack, and I was like, what the heck? I could just go straight through. So that's what I decided to do. So I dropped my smokes, I got my hookah army coming up, and I've learned a lot. I've gotten so much better this last Mega Crab with these smoky hookah attacks. This landing, I admit, was kind of bad. I wasted like seven smokes. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, but overall, I've been getting very good with this strategy. So, one heavy walks out. It's fine. Not a big deal. He's still alive because they are a beast. They tank so much. When you have boosted up health, heavies are so strong. 
And you can see here that my Zookas are just getting in these paths. Just straight little lines. What I learned was you don't want to go all the way to the back. You'll just spread them out more. So you have to you have to flare in these little tiny sections to regroup your troops and stuff and keep them in straight lines. And I get back here and I just park my hook my hookah. I was gonna say heavies, but it's hookah. My hookah army. Just park my army right here. Now there are a few zookas being dumb and walking out. That's okay. Um, it kind of made me mad because. Um, the rocket launcher would have killed him, but I dropped, uh, I dropped, I keep dropping shocks on that one rocket launcher. We're going to zoom out so you guys can hear, you guys can see the full effect. Um, so yeah, overall, pretty good attack. I was able to, uh, take this one down. We better hurry it up. We have a lot to get through, and the video does not need to be 20 minutes long. So pretty easy attack, just finishing it off. This attack, I don't know which one it was. It was one of these. I was able to, and I just owned. I just went, it was not this one. Um, I just owned. I just went through and through bases, just just, just, just destroying them. Just solo attacks, and I got through like six bases. Just solo, solo, solo. And then I hit 47, and 47 is so hard. <laughs> I'm going to show you it in a second. So, yeah. Over the YouTubers, Boombi Schwartz is doing pretty good. Even though he doesn't show his own attacks, he's still she. Well, he showed some of his attacks, but most of them are spawns. He's still doing super good, so much better than me. Um, Boom Beach Finland, I think, is doing doing pretty good. Um, I don't watch his content though, so yeah. And then uh, Chicken, Chicken is at like stage 50, I, I believe. So yeah, I'm catching up on the chicken. I'm gonna make him chicken out. We're gonna speed this up. Um, so what I do is I just try to destroy these shield generators because that's like 10 million. I believe it's 10 million on the shields. So definitely something I need to take down. And once I destroy all of them, um, there's one left, not a big deal. I do a flare to the back here and I just park my Zookas behind these mortars. Pretty easy attack. And now I just watch him go ham. So yeah, I just keep dropping shocks. Um, which is cool, and overall, pretty easy attack. That one was actually pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, here we go. This is stage 42, and 42, this is not, this is not the one either, I believe. Actually, it wasn't. I can't remember. This might be. I don't think it was. Um, so this is what I decide to do. I decide to flare to the back. Now, being the dumb, uh, I'll put it on, like, one. Um, being the dumb person, I, I being the dumb person I am, I go to the corner here, and then I flare around the base. What I should have did was I should have flared here, then just, then just went straight up here. That would have been so much easier, but I did not do that, and I don't know why I didn't do that. And I waste a lot of smoke, um, which was just so dumb of me. Um, I should have realized that the, the uh, flying critters are distracting the boom cannon so I don't need to worry about it so yeah I'm dropping my uh I'm just trying to get them regrouped you'll see here now I never took out those critter containers here which would have given me a little extra energy but I never did that and what I learned also is the heavies are amazing at destroying mines guys I didn't lose I, I only lost a few zookas up to this point that little clump of zookas that's like all my Zookas, and if they hit one more mine, they would have all died. That's how insane that is. Um, I would have lost 80 plus Zookas instantly, just like that. So yeah, overall, this attack was pretty good, I'm not going to lie. I was I was out of energy. When I hit that HQ, I was out of energy. Um, so I'm actually very surprised that I was able to take that down. So I think this is the one... Mm, no, this is, this is not the one either. This was a pretty easy one. This was really easy. Um, so yeah, just parking behind the HQ. It's all about just flaring and smoke. Learn that hookah strategy, guys. When you first start out, make a crab skank. It's all about skank. But as soon as you get higher up in the, um, in the stages, it's all about hookah. You gotta learn hookah. So you can see here that I take out some of the mines with those critters before I drop my next flare. That worked pretty well. Um, these Zookas are being dumb and walked out, which was just so dumb of them. And I was actually kind of nervous. This a this shield had 
million HP on it. So the cannon was just slowly picking off and it took me so long. Guys, this is on times four. These are boosted Zookas with over 100% damage boost, boost. That's how slow it's going down. It's 10.5 million HP. It took forever. And you can see here that there's like there's a three. There's three clumps of four shield generators. So that's just insane. I got like 60 energy or something when it all got destroyed. So overall, actually that wouldn't be 60. That'd be that'd be uh 36. So it's a little off there. So overall, that was a pretty easy attack. Here we go. Was this the one? I think this was the one where I beat. I beat spawn on. I could be wrong, but this is what I do. I just do a smoky zuka, smoky hookah, got my heavies down, I drop my flare on the beach. Now some people will like walk up a little bit before they drop their first flare. What I noticed from me personally is it's so much easier to drop that flare like on the beach. And you can see here that all these sniper towers want to kill my troops, but I don't lose any here. They're just trying to redirect and kill me. But I don't lose any. I stay strong. So overall, this was a pretty solid attack. I'm not going to lie. This attack is definitely a little nervous for. Now, you do have to watch out for Doom Cannons. And you'll see that a little later, I believe. I believe there was that one base a little later. Um, but Doom Cannons are a pain in the butt. Because now they do splash damage, okay? Um, they do tiny bursts of damage. So, Zookas, they clump up like crazy. So, if a Doom Cannon goes off in a Zooka clump... It kills a lot of Zuka. So that's what I learned from watching all these other YouTubers. And these shield generators are taking forever to take down. Um, I'm just trying to get my heavies out in front of my Zookas. Um, so the cannons will stop picking off my Zookas. And start picking off my heavies. And it just takes forever for that to happen. And it still hasn't happened. All those cannons and stuff just destroying me. So now I'm taking down the Scary Mortar. We're going to put on times 4. And I just redirect. I get around the base, and I, I still can't believe I destroyed this in one attack. Honestly, I, I'm like so proud of myself for destroying this base in one attack. I think that was the one I beat uh, spawn on. Oh, it might have been this one. Um, yes, oh yes, it was this one. This was the one. The last attack he did in one attack also, but this is the one I beat one of the best Mega Crab players. No, I shouldn't say that. This is way better. But this was an amazing attack. So what I do, guys, is I just take down the base. I start out by taking down the shock launchers. Um, and I get so much energy here. I think right now I have 160 energy. So now I uh, reclump and I start dropping my smokes. I get them all in a smoke, get them all stabilized, and then I'm going to start my uh, smoky rush. So I flare all the way into the back here, and I just let them go. We're going to put on times two because I walk so freaking slow. Um, so yeah, I'm one of the very few people that was able to one-shot this uh, base, which is actually insane for me. Like, I'm, I can't say I'm the best. I got lucky. I got lucky. It was perfectly executed, and you'll see that I lose, like, all of my troops. I lose all my heavies. And look at that. Look at my Zookas. He just, like, walked to the corner. It's insane. This high level Mega Crab is crazy, guys. So I just take down the base. I just let my Zookas just go to work. And you guys have to watch this Doom Cannon here. Because the Doom Cannon is the only thing in range right now. And you're just going to pick off my troops. Now, remember what I told you about it doing Splash? Okay, so I'm going to drop a Shock. Then as soon as the Shock wears off, we're going to put on one. Watch this Doom Cannon. It hits and it destroys like five. Every time it fires... It destroys like five Zookas, and it's just so sad, guys, because it just destroys them. Um, so yeah, just slowly by steadily just destroying my Zooka army. Um, and I just got enough energy to drop another shock, and it was a success. So I'm pretty happy I was able to one-shot that, but we are about to get on to stage 47, which is disgusting. It's so hard. Um, so this attack was easy also. I just did the same thing that you guys literally just saw a couple minutes ago. The only problem was I should have, at, yeah, same predicament. I should have flared up here, up here, instead of just going around the base. It wasted so much more smoke. 
Um, and I don't think I take down these critters here. All those critters would have given me so much energy. I ran out of smoke and I was just able to get them walked up and parked on the corner there and then just taking it down. One more mine, same thing. Would have killed all my Zookas. I just have so much skill. No, not skill, it's luck. I don't know how I feel about this haircut, guys. Look at that. My head looks so oval. I hate my head. I wish I had a circle head. And a circle head people saying, I wish I had a oval head. No, I wish I had a square head. <laughs> Minecraft head. Um, I don't play Minecraft, guys. I know you just saw that Team Mojang notification a couple minutes ago. I don't play Minecraft. I used to, but I don't anymore. Oh, okay. Gotta explain here. I hit attack. I was gonna fly around the base with Smokey Hookah and park up here and destroy as many defenses as I possibly could. But I forgot the boost. I forgot the boost. I did not boost. I had 90 energy. 98. There's no way I could flare around the base, get up here with 98 energy. There's just no way that would have happened. So I just use my energy and I just destroy mines. As many mines as I can. Take down the um take down the rocket launchers here. And then I drop my troops here and I had a mission. To take down a few rocket launchers that were on the beach. Um, because then my next attack, which is a hook attack also, I don't have to worry about smoking on the landing, which I'm awful at. So we're going to do an attack live here, and you see here that I got destroyed. So, now that you're all called up, let's do this. Let's get our boost going. We're going to get all of our statues boosted up. I've wasted so much diamonds, guys. So far, I'm about 20 bucks in on diamonds, and I just spent $40. Over the course of the weekend, I spent $40, but I have about 20 in diamonds. Or it's only $28. <sighs> okay, two boats of heavies, six boats of zookas. I'm just going to make sure everything is boosted up. Good, okay. Um, we're going to scout it out first. I have two attacks, and then I'll, I, I seriously doubt I'll be able to destroy this space, guys. Same thing, going to fly. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, man. Dang it. I should have... Wow. Instead of going around the base, I should have just looked ahead, taken down these mines, and then just walked straight up. I'm so much better at straight walking paths. We're going to hit attack here. Okay. We're going to take down that clump of mines and that clump of mines. Oh, dang it. I should have... I could have easily taken down all three of those mines. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Um. So, yeah. I did a scout earlier, and I know what I have to do here. My Zookas have to be perfectly placed, and as soon as they walk past that yellow line, they're in rocket rocket launcher range. So we're dropping our smokes. Uh, don't walk out. We're flaring all the way to the edge, which I told you guys about. Bam. Bam. We need, we need to sit by this rock. We need to sit by this uh, shock. I mean, the sniper tower. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so our, our troops can get in one clump so we can drop the next flare. They were just getting way too spread apart. Uh, flare. Don't walk out. Don't walk out. Don't walk out. Flare. 78 energy. One last run. Let's do it. Flare. I mean, smoke. 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 Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's about to go down, guys. One more flare here in the middle. That clumps them together. And... Shock. Bam. Go. 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 Okay. Shock. You got a few hits off. It's fine. Not a big deal. I've just got to say, guys, if I am able to take... Don't buy it, don't buy it, my clump, don't buy it, my clump. Um, if I'm able to take this down in, the, in this attack, I don't know if I will be able to or not. But if I am, it's going to make me so freaking happy. Okay, I do not, I do not need a med kit. Critters are just going to die instantly. Is there anything I can take down with this to help? This would help. Um, three is what, oh gosh, can I, I can't hit all three of those. Let's see, I can... Yeah, this is an more. Then it'll give me one more for energy. Oh, I got Barrage. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a barrage here. There we go. Got a oh, got a little more energy, guys. Um, med kit my heavies. I could, but that's not gonna help me much. I think we're gonna do it. Honestly, I think we're gonna be able to take it down. We're gonna take down that. And we're just gonna drop one barrage. Critters aren't gonna do anything. Here we go. It's just a time battle. I'm so stressed. You have no idea. I was so mad at my first attack. You have just no idea how mad I was at that first attack. And it's such a dumb mistake, honestly. But I was able to pull off a victory which on the second attack, which makes me so happy. It just makes me so happy, guys. <sighs> okay. Well, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I'm not going to attack 48 on this uh, video, but thank you all for watching. If you liked it, be sure to drop a like, as always. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.